First of all, I just want to start uh, by thanking so many people. Uh, it's certainly been a, a tough road, a long road, and I want to emphasize it continues. This is only a first step in what I describe as bringing some closure, but not closure. And I just want to be emphatic on that one point. Uh, certainly, I can't say enough about the great work of the Detroit Police Department. Uh, I would tell you, having worked so many different police agencies, uh, this is truly the best of the best. Wayne State uh, Police for being a great partner, not just now through this, but they have been. Uh, Michigan State Police Department uh, continually is a, a great partner. Wayne County Sheriffs, I uh, reluctantly uh, missed out. They were out there the night that our two heroes were shot, out working feverishly with the 200 plus officers. Um, Certainly uh, our local and federal partners. I can't say enough about the FBI, uh, ATF, DEA, uh, Border Patrol. Uh, again, they were out there with us. Uh, certainly the officers from the third precinct, uh, because I know that they're still dealing with uh, the trauma of uh, their colleagues, their partners, our partners who are still suffering uh, as we speak. Uh, homicide, you know, I can't just say enough about homicide and the work that you and your team does, your leadership, uh, Captain Miles and, and Commander Wilson, certainly tireless professionals who just, every time that bell goes off, they're there to answer the call, never complaining. So again, this is a first step. And I'm, I'm gonna continue to say it throughout my remarks. Um, work very hard to get to this day. This does not signify closure. Again, I continue to be very proud of the work of the men and women from all the agencies that I talked about in apprehending this violent felon. We just go back to the night of the shooting incident. Uh, within several hours, through a diligent, courageous effort, the suspect was brought into custody. But make no mistake, this suspect was violent, he was dangerous, and when the second set of officers made contact with this suspect who had burrowed in, uh, there was an effort, we believe, on his part to attack those officers, but it didn't happen. So I just want to say that is great. So yesterday evening, and this is the point, yesterday evening we received telephonic confirmation of a positive DNA match. Now I will say, because this investigation is continuing, I will not go into any detail. And I will also say as it relates to this DNA match, this is one component of the investigation. This investigation has many components to it. We talk about interviewing witnesses, interviewing suspects, gathering evidence. Uh, and I will not go into any details of that part of this investigation. So at this point, Mr. Raymond Derman is now considered a prime suspect in the murder of Wayne State Police Sergeant Colin Rose and the attempted murder of our two Detroit police officers. Again, this is a first step. This matter, as it relates to Sergeant Colin Rose, has not been presented to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. We are putting together a warrant package that should be presented where uh, the Wayne County Prosecutor make an evaluation on all of the evidence, on all of the information. At this point, that has not been done, but we are considering him a suspect. We anticipate that as it relates to the shooting of two Detroit police officers, that matter will be reviewed as early as today uh, at the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. So we anticipate charges forthcoming and uh, uh, I'll, I'll see if uh, Chief Hope would like to make some comments. I just don't want to expand too much on what Chief Craig stated. I just want to compliment the Detroit Police Department as a whole, especially the Detroit Police Department Homicide Task Force. Uh, because it was my officer who lost his life, I knew or I know how hard they work 24 seven to investigate this case. This is an ongoing investigation, and uh, they're going to do the complete fine job that they're continuing to do. 